by Vans, port by trackier.com, and today we're going to install a set of Carbon the Rainer CL brake pads on the back of our 2014 Yamaha FC09 STG project bike. Okay. We've got CL RX3 brake pads, perfect compound for the rear of this motorcycle. I want to show you what we would do to change these to help you decide if you want to do that yourself. Tools that we need. Basic hand tools. I got a screwdriver, right? I got, I got a couple of sockets. I got a T handle. I got some lube for the pivot points. We're also going to use some brake cleaner when we're all done. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bleed the brakes as well. Pretty simple procedure. Give yourself some time to do it to make sure that you get it all done properly the first time. Okay, we're going to open up by getting the caliper loose on the motorcycle. One of the things that I want to do, okay, is I want to clean the caliper piston before I push it back in the bore. I don't want any of that debris to get behind the actual dust seal for the caliper itself. So we're going to open up by loosening all the fasteners necessary to do this. this bleeder screw loose like so get a guide pin for the caliper out for most street riders this is a service that you know you're only going to perform this every couple of seasons right and it's really important because this stays together for such long periods of time that you do a really good clean job each and every time and pull the actual retaining pin for the pads out now. Got an Allen head in there. That is just a lock screw that's in place, a five millimeter Allen. Once we get the pads out, and you can clearly see these aren't these aren't worn out at all. Okay, we're just replacing them for the purpose of the project bike. Get you a nice little install video. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get this caliper piston perfectly clean. There's not really a lot of debris on this one. This is going to be a pretty easy job. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of brake cleaner. This stuff evaporates quite nicely. Now we're going to kind of get that whole caliper nice and clean. I do have a toothbrush here ready in case we needed to actually scrub the piston. When we do the fronts, we'll probably have to utilize that. Okay, now this cool speed bleeder bag and hose kit here. And what I'm going to do is move the plug from the end of it. As you see, you can reuse this thing over and over again. I think they're about $10. You find them on the website. And it makes brake service so much easier and cleaner in the end. I already broke the screw loose previous. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and that will allow me to get in here and push that piston back by hand. A little fluid run in there, not a whole lot. It didn't really have to move back very far at the end of the day because those pads are in pretty good shape, so. And we'll recap that. We will use this again because when we're all done here, we're going to bleed the brakes and change the fluid completely. Okay, next step. There's two points that need to be lubricated. And this is pretty important stuff here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to slide the pin out like so. And we're going to put a little silicone lube in there. I like to use an old Phillips screwdriver that I'd actually modified the head of a little bit. Because what you want to do is you want to get just a good thin coating all inside the bore like that, right? You don't need to overdo it because if you overdo it, it's just going to push it all over the place. It's going to exhaust a bunch of it out when you put it together. I'm going to do that over here as well. 
Okay, that is ready to go. Go ahead and let's get our slide pin back in here. Be able to get the pin to pass through. And there we go, like that. Something that's really important, too, is you see how I got the seals back in the groove on that pin. You can see the motion there now is super free. It's very important that thing can float freely without any restrictions. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our pads. CL makes a good quality brake pad. Perfect combination for a street bike would be the RX3 rear with the XBK5 front brake pads. Okay, now go ahead and slide these into place. Keep the pad retainers that we had, reuse those. Get our pin in here. Go ahead and get that started. We'll tighten all this up once it is back on the motorcycle and held securely. Okay. Make sure the pads are spread apart adequately up here and the anchor sit nicely like so get the slide pin retainer in place there lower bolt as well <clears throat> Run all this stuff down. Torque specs are available online if you want to use torque wrenches. Go ahead and just Google that. Odds are you're going to find what you need pretty easily. If you prefer to use a torque wrench, Put this all nice and snug here. As always, I'm going to double check. Pads. This set screw is nothing more than just a safety for that pad pin. Okay, so that just gets tightened simply with that flat bladed screwdriver. Check your caliper. Look at how nicely that floats. You need that to float back and forth easily. I'm gonna go ahead and pump the brakes up. You see the caliper once again floating nicely. Now we need to come up here to our rear brake reservoir and loosen the mount. This is the only way we're going to be able to get the actual cap off because they have a safety on the top of that. Go ahead and get back to our speed bleeder bag and hose. Slide that over the bleeder and we're going to exhaust almost everything that we have in the rear reservoir. Open the screw, push down, close, let up. We'll repeat that process until it's pretty much empty. Spike is relatively new, doesn't have very many miles on it, so we will be able to change the brake fluid with relative ease here. Okay, we don't have to get in here and clean out the reservoir or anything. There's no real debris in there at this point, okay, because of the lower mileage. If your bike's older, right, and you've got a lot of discoloration, you know, and or debris inside of your brake reservoir, you're gonna want to clean that out with the brake and it's real nice, right, once you have it empty. But once again, like I said, that's not the case with the FC. 
pretty new machine that we have here. Brake fluid is something that I would say should be changed on an annual basis for a street bike, a uh, race bike, even more frequently than that. You always want to use fluid from a sealed container. Use the EBC fluid here. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes just to make sure that we've changed all the fluid. Same process here. Open the screw, depress and hold the pedal, close the screw, let the pedal up. Open the screw, depress and hold, and we'll repeat that until I've went through about one reservoir of fluid. I feel that that'll be sufficient. You can already see by the color of the fluid that's coming out. The color that's coming out now is the same as the fluid that we put in. So I'm going to top it off a bit. Got a perfect pedal. I'm pump it up a few times, hold it, open the screw, close it, and repeat that once more. Close the screw, let it up. Very process. Now we're ready to top the fluid off the rest of the way. You never want to overfill. Overfilling brake fluid is not a good practice to be within because it doesn't leave proper room for expansion. If you don't have room for expansion, you will have issues, possible brake drag, okay? You do not want that. If you have any spills on the motorcycle, brake fluid's corrosive, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you clean that up, right? So you don't let it sit on any of the painted or you know the powder coated surfaces, it can damage them. Now we need to secure our reservoir again. Use all the stock hardware for that on this FZ. Simple process, make sure your lid's tight. Back to our Motion Pro T handle. Snug that down, that's a small fastener. You can see I've got the fluid level exactly where it should be. You want to take this off slowly. It allows the fluid to bleed down the hose instead of spill all over the place. I'm going to wipe that off, double check my bleeder, it's getting tight, cap it off, and we'll put the cap on top of our speed bleeder bag and hose kit. This is one of the most useful little tools ever. Makes it so easy and clean to bleed the brakes. We're going to cap off our brake fluid. We'll be using this when we change the front pads. And there you have it. That's how we would change the rear brake pads on a 2014 Yamaha FCA.